安寧と調和が続く太平の大地幸福への霊族として反逆の行政は近天に輝くフェイトグランドオーダーコスモス・イン・ザ・ロストベルト人知統合申告シン Hello everyone, welcome back for some more Fate Grand Order. For those of you who are worried about me last part, don't worry. It was just allergies in the end. Because of course it was. I mean, I forgot. Spring do be like that, huh? Anyways, we're on to Xianyang. Battle at Xianyang. Ooh, versus a. Assassin? Who could that be? We haven't fought assassins yet. Uh, oh, wait. No, never mind. I know exactly who it can be. Oh, never mind. I know exactly who it's going to be.、Um, so let's see about. Grab Poggers here. That could be really good to give you that. Let's go with our Kill Assassin team, right? So we can do the same thing we did last time, honestly. And I think that can work out pretty good. We'll see how this goes, okay? We'll definitely see. Wait, no, we need to. In case she, if she starts spamming her phantasm right away, we do need a Merlin. Yeah, we're gonna need a Merlin with the ability to block the first strike. So let's go with that instead. Perfect! Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's see if this strategy can work out again. If, of course, she's gonna start spamming them right away. If it's someone entirely different, then we're good. But we'll see how it goes. No, never mind. We're here. It must be Xiang Yang. Woohoo! I knew it had to be a hell of a place from the images we'd captured at a distance, but seeing it in person is quite a peculiar city. If indeed a city it can be called. Well, what would you call it? Look how pressed the place it is! My concern lies in whether it fulfills the functions we typically associate with cities. Those things packed around its perimeter must be the rockets King Shi Huang uses to distribute the benefactions. The Emperor's got to have more than enough here to cover the entire planet. I guess this explains how King Shi Huang could rule the whole world with just this one city. That stadium looking thing in the center would seem to be the city's central hub. As far as I can tell from here, there does not appear to be anything in the way of residential buildings. Then does that mean nobody lives in the city? Then it's not really a city, huh? That's a key question, isn't it? At least that would be what determines whether or not this is a city in the sense as we usually think of them. Even if there are people living here, I have a suspicion it's far fewer than in our own cities. Not that this world's soldiers or robots have a hard time believing there's any particular need for a human labor force. There does seem to be a deal of activity taking place, so it's doubtful this city is totally uninhabited. I think you'll find it faster to just go in and take a look for yourself. Shouldn't take long for even you lot to figure out what the culture here is like. Not that you'll, they'll be opening the gate and welcoming you with open arms anytime soon, of course. Oh, wait. Oh, I know who it could be for an assassin. Never mind. Foo! I'm seeing new hostiles make their way toward us, but. These are human, not automatons. That's the Royal Guard of Xianyang, the elite soldiers assigned to protect the Emperor even in times of peace without ever being put to sleep in Mount Li. Oh, and just so you know, They're a far, far cry from the supervisors you fought back on that farm. Right, I forgot about these guys. And there's also, you know, that other assassin. That other one big assassin. You know, that one who's, you know. We normally fight as an assassin. We weirdly, you summon as a lancer. But here, it's like, no, we put him back in now as an assassin. All right. Well, we'll just beat down these guys. For now. Oh, now it's four turns each, huh? Yeah. Let's. Let's get these guys done and taken care with so that hopefully we'll be able to, um. You know. Ooh, they're beefy. Okay. Wow. Ah! They almost seem to be using even the same animations, you know? Let's go one, two, three. Get everyone enough meters so that, you know, once we move on to the next round, there we'll be good to go. This is a practice round before we end up facing off against the,、uh, the cream of the crop of their troops, huh? Okay. 
Thank you for the heals. All doing their one-inch punches, huh? Let's go one, two, three. All right. Okay. All right. One done. All right, we're going to pop our um, defense on here. Because I don't think we're going to have a boss, per se. So, at least with these guys. All right, so then let's go one, two, three. Nice crit. Great coiled burst. Remove buff, huh? Oof. Oof, that's not too good, actually. Uh, well, let's go one, two, three. Just keep it going. And it seems to decrease their uh, crit rate, too, though. So it's a, it is a burst on their part, huh? That's fine. Trembling legs, ignore invincible. Well, it's a good thing you didn't use that before, sir. All right. We'll get rid of this guy. There we go. And Merlin should get enough. There he goes. Nice stuff. Alright, let's see who we facing off against now. Oh, the one in the front is the one with the big damage. So let's go. That up on you. Pop this on you. Come on, get the good effects. Nice. Pop that on you. And we're actually going to, just for damage, we're going to pop that on you as well. Attack up for everyone. We're going to pop that on you. And we're going to pop this on you. Alright, so let's go. One, two, three. And let's hopefully finish the lot off. Let's see. This is going to deal good damage to the guy at the front for sure. Okay. So now I should be at the same... Yeah, yeah, there we go. Okay. Let's see how much we do. If we switch them, it might have been better, but that's fine. Alright, let's see how much do we do. I think... Oh, no, I was going to say. I thought they were going to be still alive. Nice. Good, 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 good. Alright. Get that. Get that. And he dropped some bells. Ooh, these guys dropped the bells just freely. I'll take those. Now, the question is, are we going to be facing off against... Against the Captain of the Guard? whose name we are still trying to pretend that we don't know, and it is very clearly Li Xuan. We'll see here. Um, let's grab... And of course, there's always the chance as well that we'll end up facing off against... Um, we'll end up facing off against uh, you there. So, because of that, let's be very careful with what we get. Um, huh... Really? Just straight up, there's no... No Merlins, huh? The game's like, no. You're gonna play this normally. You're, you're gonna, you're gonna have a regular time. You're not gonna get through this easily. Curses. Curses indeed. Well, in that case, we could always go for something a little bit, uh... A little bit different. Maybe, we could. Or I could just keep trying, because nothing can stop me. I could just keep trying, because that's fine. What does this do for you? Increase arts effectiveness, noble phantasm strength? Jeez. Dang. I've seen that before, but every time it makes me go, wow. Alright, so we're definitely not getting... That's fine. We're definitely not getting that. Um, this on you gives... 75% charge? That's okay. Not 100% what we want. Is there really just like... 
no dang non you know meter up servants i mean i guess we could use medea there okay but that's only single target well fine fine we'll use her why not okay fine uh so we'll get sure we'll go with this for now then i've kept tempting using her then it just keeps going away we defeated the enemy troops <laughs> Well, now that the enemy is shedding real blood to win, we finally know they're taking us seriously. Well, sure, now that we're this close, it's no wonder they decide to pull out all the stops. Alright, one more gate and we'll be inside Xiangyang proper. Stay sharp, everyone. Oh, just more, just more troops, that's it? Alright. That works for me. That was a reference to the Mario's early years for the Super Nintendo, in case you don't know. Which is a game my friend actually had. Like, physically. And we played- like, I say we played together, but it's more like we made fun of it together. You know? You know how it goes. Alright. Do as much as we can. We're gonna pretty much do the same thing in the next battle, so... Just, you know, with someone to attack instead of someone to, um... Just gain their, uh, get back our health. Look at her using some fighting game moves there. I've used that, except I think it was lightning that she dropped down from the sky instead. Look at the fleece girl. That's not bad, actually. That's not bad. Um, let's go... But this, and... She can give herself 100% meter, so I'm not too worried, actually. Okay. You guys are not getting any stars, almost. Okay. Um, let's do... Don't want to do that? Nah. I mean, sure. Just save our buff, then, for now. Just do this. Because our big thing that we want is to use it on the, uh, on the crowd of them. You know, I'm very happy there are no servants who's like, when they do, you know, an attack, it's like uses, uh, music from a, one of the Fate shows. None of them are copyrighted. That's a good thing. They're short enough that we don't worry about that. All right, give yourself the meter. Wow, nearly 200%, huh? Pop that on you for more damage. Attack up. Also give you an extra attack up. Well, would have been nice if it worked, but it did not, and that's fine. So let's go one, two, three, because then we can try and use it again, maybe? Or, I uh, just, ah, uh, sure, let's try and, try and spam it up. Just a nice, solid chunk of damage, really. Okay, let's see how much do we have left. Okay, still a bit with each of them. Not bad. Alright, and let's go one, two, three. Again, use as much as we can. Good numbers. Nice. Oof. Real good. Okay, I'm 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 gonna place a bet that the next battle will be versus uh versus the captain of the guard. So it feels like there's like two two mob battles to prepare you, and now it's like all right, time for the real deal. We'll see. We could very easily be wrong. Uh oh, answer and huh, huh. 
Interesting. Oh, this is one of the cards that is going to be available. Buster effectiveness, critical strength, 50%. Not bad. Not bad, actually. Um, yeah, one of the cards that will be gettable through the, um, the promotion there that's coming up. We could also get ourselves one of you. We could also, I guess, use a Berserker to just tear on through. That is an option as well. Or... Hmm... Yeah, no, you guys... Hmm... Not the best. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna get a gonna get a berserker. Or sorry, an assassin. Just get a good attack assassin there. And then we're gonna go into our team of kill say Lancer. So we got like you guys. Yeah, that should be good. That should be good. Alright. Let's go. Damn, all this fighting's even starting to wear me out. We have still succeeded. We can now enter the city. Do keep your guard up. I expect we will encounter even greater resistance soon. Still don't know if he's a pseudo-servant. Still don't know if he actually has a sprite. Oh yeah, no, this is a proper city. Is this Xian Yang? There do appear to be people living here, but I never expected this. Are they... playing? They're all painting pictures, singing songs, dancing... Wait! I thought that's Confucianism! What the hell? I don't know, there's a freaking war going on in the front yards. <laughs> now it seems we have automaton soldiers to deal with. Or perhaps not. They do not seem to be particularly interested in us. Looks like they're telling the residents to evacuate. Hey, get out of my way. I need to finish this painting for most glorious and majestic Heavenly Emperor. These colors are sure to delight the Emperor's senses. And I need to sing this song about our glorious Emperor's greatest accomplishments. The melody is fit even for an Emperor's divine ears. This is what gives our lives meaning. Why would you have us leave? He reasoned- Oh, we're- Oh, we're fighting you! Remember, each and every one of your lives is truly precious to the Emperor. We can't risk putting your lives in danger. Now leave. We'll be able to return soon enough. But I haven't finished my picture. I haven't finished my sculpture. This is interesting. Heartbreaking, isn't it? The only thing they have to do, they have to their names, is a single bed in the basement. When they're not sleeping, they're working their fingers to the bone on monuments and murals a hundred times more magnificent than anything they'll ever own. I hesitate to call them artists, but... Is this some kind of bad joke? Their only subject is Kim Shi Huang? That's not art, not by a damn sight! Enter well, so wrong voice. Entertaining each other has been a key aspect of culture as long as people have existed. But here, the only true person, which is to say the sole audience for entertainment, is Qin Shi Huang and King Shi Huang alone. That's why the Emperor is the only subject of all art these people create. Those who are deemed to have creative talent are gathered from countries all around the world and brought here to spend their lives creating art directly beneath the Peng Palace. That would mean artists who wish to enter the masses, like Shakespeare, and artists who pursued the truth of the human condition, like Anderson, never even be born here. Here, the very premise of culture itself could not be more different than that of proper human history. Right you are. Certainly, Qin Shi Huang loves the people of the Empire, much like an owner loves their pets. In this history, all of mankind's vile arrogance is concentrated in King Shi Huang. And all that remains are these lifeless, worthless excuses for pets. This whole city is basically nothing more than a giant cat cafe, only with primates instead of felines. <laughs> as I've said many times before, I despise humans. But that doesn't mean I enjoy seeing them as livestock. Humans are supposed to be selfish and arrogant, following their desires wherever they take them. This spectacle, where they sing the praises of life without any worries, He's an affront to us beasts. Hey, she's glaring at us something fierce. If we don't attack first, the enemy will have the advantage. Are you sure you wish to hold back, Master? Let's wait for them to finish their evacuation. We're good guys. That's what we do. I'm surprised. I thought for sure you would ambush us while we had our hands full with the evacuation. True, this is in many respects an invasion. Our ideas of what this world could uh, should be could... Not possibly be more different. But we are not here to massacre your people, even if your actions ultimately lead to them ceasing to exist. 
Obviously, getting these people to safety is your top priority. But you know just as well as I do that Qin Shi Huang would order you to kill them if there was even the slightest hint of suspicion that they were infected. Is that really a leader worth obeying? Yeah, you saw that what that prick is willing to do those supposedly treasured citizens. Yes, I did. My own hometown was once destroyed by a falling star just like that. Beg your pardon? Zhang Xiang Hong seduced my neighbors into thinking they could lead better lives if they founded their own nation. Once their emperor determined they were no longer willing to obey, Qin Shi Huang made the decision to drop a star upon their village, wiping them out. And did Zhang... Zhang Xianzong, that's tough to say, do anything to help them? No. He abandoned them without a second thought and wasted no time inciting people in another village to make up for the soldiers he'd lost. I have nothing but pity for the people who were led astray by his empty promises. They were driven to their deaths all because they were deceived into believing a charlatan could bring them happiness and deluded about another way of life. None of you could know what a tragedy it is for the people of this land to be robbed of their tranquility. Had it been possible, I would have been just as happy never having taken up the spear. All I ever wanted was to live with my family, tilling our land in peace. Me on you. The peace we enjoy now is only made possible by keeping people's worst tendencies dormant. This is the great feat, the blessing that most glorious and majestic Heavenly Emperor brought to the world. I will never forgive you for trying to rouse the people from that slumber. Now repent for your selfish misdeeds as this white ash spear pierces your throats. Well, this is interesting. She would have preferred to be in dormancy, huh? You know, just to just to till the land. Mm. I can sort of see why they'd think that, but at the same time, I also think that that's kind of insane. Anyways, uh, our big thing is going to be getting meter, right? So let's get as much of it as we can for these guys. Also stars, I guess. Be very useful to get as much as we can. Make the next part easier. Okay, and let's go one, two, three. Get as much as you can and kill him. Yeah. Alright, then do that. Yeah, please hit him. That'd be nice if you could just exclusively target him, you know? Okay, get as much as you can, Lancelot. Get that big meter gains. But also kill him, so we don't have to worry about him, you know. Nice, good. Okay. And let's go... One, two, three. Again, we want to get as much meter as we can, so I don't necessarily want to... ...kill him just yet. Oof, that damage, though. Uh, okay, let's go one, two, three... All right, this Hassan's got his left, which uh, we'll see if we can get it in a second here. Okay, she has a decent amount of HP, actually, so you don't have anything for meter, but you know what? Let's... Let's do this. Nope, on you specifically. Let's just deal as much damage as we can. Because these guys prevent her from taking multiple turns, so we're going to leave them to survive for a bit. That's good damage for now. Yeah, we take that. Crit up, debuff immune. Okay. Alright, let's do this thing. Alright. There's no way you're going to get an instant death, but, you know, if we somehow do, that would be kind of cool. Um, and so this gives you significant death chance. I mean, there's a chance on these guys. Well, immune to all debuffs. Never mind. Um, and let's go. Let's leave that with you for sure. Okay. So let's go one, two, three. All right. Let's try this. Good damage. It's just good damage. Alright. 
Nice. This should be enough to break her first gauge. Yeah, for sure. And hopefully get back some meter, too. Nice. Nice. Okay. Gauge broken, and they survived, which is good for us. Home of the end of the world. I didn't see what that said. Okay, this said... Activate when damaged. Decrease critical strength. Recover all allies' HP when critically attacked. No recovery... Oh, interesting. Interesting. Huh. Okay. Um... You know what? Let's... Yeah, let's get that. We can do a combo with him. Even if we're not necessarily gonna, like, use it with you. Just, like, like you know, you, you'll deal a good amount there. Alright, let's see here. So is it, is it just gonna keep healing them when the crits happen? Okay. Huh, so we can't crit mean them at all. Interesting. Huh. Well, too bad. I'm still gonna do it. Because I think my amount of crit up power will be more than the healing she's gonna be doing, you know? Okay. Pop that on you, too. Okay. Because, like, look at this. Look at this. This this will deal more damage than the heals will work. Yep. Yes, it does. Light Cavalry Spear. Quick up, Arts up, quick up. Okay, good. She's still alive there. Good. Ooh. Or, let's evade with you. And let's just do another one of these with him. Because, like, yeah. Because, like, yeah. Even if it's... Even if those heals are happening, it's not as much as the critical damage we're doing, it seems. Yeah. Like, look at that. Goodbye. Alright. Doesn't super even matter, because you're all gonna die now. Look at all those critical hit damage deaths. Even with those, I wasn't even noticing I was getting those. That's hilarious. So let's go one, two. Hopefully that'll kill and then we'll try that there. That's so funny. I didn't even realize that. How much is this going to even do? Well, it's not a critical hit, so probably not. It's probably just normal mount. Yeah. Watch this one soldier dude just end up destroying us. Okay. Hi, Gawain. Welcome to the team. It's been a hot minute since we've seen you. Too bad you're not going to do anything. Now, I see your sword is glowing. Is that an indication that this is technically regarded as sunlight, even though it looks like it's indoors? I wonder. I wonder. Because does this sword normally glow? Is that a thing? I don't know. Huh. We'll see. Well, that went pretty good, I think. I think that went pretty good. Alright. Uh, do we have the same battle again? Ha! Huh. We'll see here. Anyways, uh, I should get a good saber, though. Let's see here. We got some good sabers in here. I mean, we got saber saber, but I don't think I want saber saber. I mean, I guess we could get Merlin, too. Let's see here. What does this do? Quick card effectiveness by 30%. That seems pretty good, actually, with you. Sure, we'll get you. Because then you'll synergize well with these two. Because then you're getting the stars. You're doing the damage. Yeah. Look at that. We got, we got, look, we got quick, we got buster, and we got arts all together. Beautiful. Okay. At least I think that's what we're doing. I think we're doing it again. 
The enemy's on the ropes. We're almost there. No, I doubt this will be the end of it. They are very much in this for the long haul. Lady King Leung Yu, the Royal Guard has arrived to assist you. What would you have us do? The Royal Guard? If you're here, then who's protecting at Peng Palace? Heavenly Emperor said we no longer we are no longer needed there. The Emperor ordered us to hold this line of defense for the sake of our nation. Your Imperial Majesty. Please stop this, Qin Liang Yu. Surely a warrior of her your caliber must know when she is outmatched. Tell me, those of you who claim to be from proper human history, why do you threaten our world? Because this history should have never happened, and it's because we have to, we must do what we must to save our world. So you want to set the world right? <laughs> That's all you Confucians ever say we're not, though. How should the world be, then? What is this proper world of yours like? How does your world function where everyone has their own idea how things should be while denying all the others? How many people lose their lives to the ravages of war each and every day? How many innocent lives end in senseless tragedy? Has all your bloodshed led to even one good thing in your world? Or has it just been an excuse for the next war? Wow, way to cut dust to the bone. We fought hard for a world without war. A world where peace could truly endure forever. My husband, my brothers, all of them gave their lives while fighting to make that dream a reality. We, the people of this empire, had to build this world on their corpses. The peace this land now enjoys was paid for with the blood of soldiers who will never be granted respite in Mount Li. And so I will defend it at all costs. I will not let your flowery words and false promises lead me astray. I believe in our way of life and the happiness we fought so hard to obtain. I don't need any other countries. I don't need any other version of myself. Allow me to demonstrate for you that this other me you speak of and I are nothing alike. Well, I mean... I'm, I'm assuming the version of her we get is the one from proper human history, which means it's not her, which means we do get another. That's something I'm, I'm come, I have to come to grips with. Like, yeah, like, these are not the servants we'll end up getting. Also, it's just, just these guys now? Okay. Well, let's deal with them uh, ASAP here while also getting the meter. Okay do as much as we can while simultaneously not dying. So let's go one, two, three, get you some meter and deal some good damage. Good stuff. Okay. Ah. Stop. No. Okay, let's go. Let's go one. No, let's go one. Two, three. Yeah, let's get a bunch of stars to finish him off for sure on the next turn. Oh, shoot. Never mind. Well, I mean, we, we might still, depending on what we get. Okay. Okay, alright. Well, yeah, no, we'll do it. Especially if we do this for sure. Hundo Percento. Monokita. Ooh, look at that meter game. Oh, man. Not bad at all. Okay. Is it her now? Yeah, and just one Imperial Guard this time. I mean, my plan is going to be roughly the same as it was last time. Which is going to be, for you, going to be this. Going to be this. Going to be this. Going to be, yep, hundo, hundo, hundo. Uh, let's get an attack up. Do you have a quick card? No, it's just yours there. Greatly. Okay, we're not going to do that with you just yet. So we're going to then go one, two, three. All right, do your stuff. Holy crap. White Cavalry Spear. Quick up, arts up, quick up. Or right, crit up. Okay. Uh, and then let's... We're going to go... Actually, you know what? Let's go with you. Yeah, so then what we're going to do is we're going to go... One. You know what? Actually, no. We're going to go one, two, three. Yeah, we're going to hold on to that. And use your power after. Yeah, good. Because then we can double it up. Especially if uh, Okita gets hit here. Okay. Home of Peaceful Rain. Yep, that's going on again. Thank you for hitting Okita. Okay, good. Well, here we go. 
Quick up. And so yours does specifically defense ignoring greatly decreased defense. Well, good. Let's do that. Let's do that. So we're going to go one, two, three. No crits. Let's go. Okay. And an Aaron. Oh, she's done. Oh, she's done. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on. Look at this. How much left? 80? Come on. Pusha. Oh, oh, she could have just did it entirely herself, even. Wow. Okay. All right. Let's just finish you guys off, then. At least do as much as we can. Okay, so yeah, you're gonna get one in, huh? Okay. That's fine. Alright, let's do this. Done. Oh, come on, that was... Come on, come on, that was fine. That was nothing. We got that. I like how her strategy is high. Every time you get a critical hit, you're gonna heal me. And it's like, well, yeah, I'm gonna hit you so hard and so fast with crits that your healing will matter nothing. <sighs> Another mountain of corpses... Another ocean of blood. Every time someone waves the flag of so-called progress, that is all I ever see. I had hoped to never see this again. Wish I could have stayed on Mount Lee, frozen in slumber. In the Yu, your proper human history terrifies me. Our world truly achieved lasting peace. It should have been the one to survive. But now it will be just another corpse you tread across on your way to your destination. Tell me, what sort of bloody future do you see past the mountain of bodies you're piling up? Well, for one, I see people who can smile. Guess there was no point in asking you that. Oh, and, and real smiles, not drug-induced smiles. The only one with that answer is the Emperor. In the end, all I ever did to bring about peace was take up my spear. Come on, Tanner. Just keep moving. Don't worry about her. You don't have the time or the energy to spare on her. Remember what it is you gotta do. Let's keep moving, Master. We're gonna find out King Shi Huang's true intentions. Why the Emperor rules his lost belt, this history, in this way. And her only choice is to get a real audience. <laughs> ah. So the enemy has made their way into Xiangyang. Ugh. Can't believe it. Then it is time for us to face Kaldia. This is not the end. They can never hope to conquer the Empire without first conquering us. Meanwhile, you need to serve as our advisors no longer. Qin Liang Yu has already given everything she has. So as of this moment, we are relieving both of you of duties who have served us well. Your Imperial Majesty. I'm sorry I couldn't win this battle for you, Your Imperial Majesty. I'll atone for this with my life! Stop that, Hansen. Your loss in battle demonstrates your loyalty towards us admirably. Wait, what do you mean? Tell us, Hansen. If we had ordered you to crush Kaldia, even if it meant destroying all of Xiangyang, surely you could have come up with at least a dozen viable plans? If you had been willing to stop at nothing, even the destruction of our nation, in order to secure victory, then you would have certainly prevailed. Are we wrong? And yet, that was a line you would not cross. That was your limit as a general. To be honest, did you not dream about devising strategies that would have rocked this nation to its core? I don't think that'd be a path I'd want to go down. I mean, there's a good chance I still might have ended up going down it eventually, but still. Related though this may be, we cannot help but feel sorry for you. If you had ended up serving a different lord, you may have achieved even greater glory and recognition. Ah! <laughs> I don't know about that. I mean, that just sounds like it would uh, end up in a pretty painful death. Lord Hun Sin. Ah, well, guess we take my leave then. Uh, you don't mind if I'd rather go by just all plain Hun Sin rather than a general from the Empire from now on, do you? We do not. Alright, see you guys. 
Captain, would you keep an eye on him in his final moments as one last favor to us? If that is what you wish, Your Imperial Majesty, you are certain of this. We are. Worry not. We have this well in hand. Very well, then, if you'll excuse me. And if I may, Your Imperial Majesty, I hope you can make the most of this opportunity. Oh, yes, we expect we will finally have an opportunity to cut loose, as they say, for the first time in a very long time. All right, everyone else is gone. If you have any manners at all, show yourself. Oh, you're here! Oh, dang. Oh, no. Oh, wow. Okay. Huh. All right, St. Quartz get. And some cores. No battles. Humanity's whereabouts. Yeah, let's look. Let's learn. Or what's up with humanity? What's humanity doing? Well now, it would appear our suspicions about that strange Spiritron signal we detected were warranted. We take it you servant creatures are capable of moving about in your spirit forms then? When you sent your bodyguards away anyway? Has the great emperor gone senile in old age? Our scans did not detect any explosives. The closest thing to a weapon you appear to bear is that dagger. Tell us, how exactly do you plan to damage our holy vessel with that? I figured as long as I got close enough, the rest should work itself out. I wouldn't be an assassin if I didn't have at least that much resolve. Assassin. Ah, yes, we vaguely recall seeing you somewhere before. Oh, of course, this must be one of those alternate histories. Oh, how very strange. Mind you're saying you forgot what I looked like up until now? We have been governing this world for 2,263 years. Just how many attempts do you think were made on our life? Oh, is this guy having a Dio bread moment? Even we cannot count all the times we have been threatened for the secret to our immortality alone. Do you truly think you are our sworn enemy? That you were somehow special among the other would-be assassins? Well... We will say that you came a long way, that, well, that when you came a long way, we were still looking for immortality in all the wrong places. Thinking back on it now, I believe, you may have even done us a favor by inadvertently putting us on the right track. We should consider rewarding you for that. Oh yeah, so what, you're gonna give me a medal or something? Now that you and your companions have made it all the way to Xian Yang, we will honor you with a personal condemn uh, condemnation of your strange history. But you're gonna lecture me now? Proper human history. What a pretentious term. You wear your arrogance in believing that yours is the only true course of events on your sleeve. In spite of this arrogance, you behave as if your actions are dictated by morality. Thus, we must convince you beyond all doubt which our worlds is truly proper, as you would call it. Morality? Oh, so now you're gonna tell me that this is the good, just moral world? Where you hold all power, where you don't even let the tiniest seed of knowledge take root, and where you casually slaughter your citizens the instant they inconvenience you? You call that a good moral world? Absolutely. What more glorious purpose could there be for the human race? You don't think of anyone anywhere as human except yourself. You are quite correct. By concentrating this land's bounty in a single point, we have become the ultimate human. Has any one individual ever ascended to such heights in your so-called proper human history? Behold our great wall encircling the city. Behold the great harvest produced by the land. Who else could bo ever boast such greatness? You know what? I'll give you one human who in our proper human history has attained su such greatness to the level of godhood as you yourself. Hitomi Tanaka. Humans in groups cannot accomplish anything. They are shackled by discord, by conflict, by contradictions. So there will be no humans, no groups. A Zenren, a true human, shall have total reign over heaven and earth and unite the species. Zenren, don't make me laugh. You call this bloated mechanical monstrosity of a human body? You believe the only human body is the one of flesh and blood. That one's status as a person is contingent on whether they have two eyes, four limbs, ten fingers? utter drivel. The true measure of a human is responsibility. It lies in bearing responsibility for this world, 
its skies, lands, oceans, and the lives of all who dwell within. Can those of you from proper human history choose which species will go extinct? Can you decide the amount of coal that will pollute your atmosphere? Can you prevent the polar ice caps from melting? Were you ever once successful at controlling your endless desires? Boy, you know a lot about human history. That's a bit weird that you know about the polar ice caps and the coal for a world that didn't use that. Well, I guess maybe. I guess maybe. You or Toy and Sky, I told him. We can do all that precisely because we are the sole arbiter of this world. Thus, we are human, for we bear all responsibility for this world on our shoulders alone. And now you're saying this regime you've set up here has made this world complete? You really believe that? We do. Eh, and you're a bigger fool than I thought. Being complete is just another way of saying done. This precious world of yours has no way forward. You're stuck with nowhere to go. Thanks to becoming a servant, I learned all sorts of things I could never have known in my own time. The future of humanity is all about possibility. And? I, and those who know me as a heroic spirit, have walked many distant worlds. You said to look at your great wall in the sky? I did. All I see is a monument to your so-called eternal empire's limitations. You said you built that wall in order to defend against threats from other stars? <laughs> Talk about preposterous. True, they'd have no way of building something like that in proper human history's 21st century. If they had the same resources at their disposal, you can bet they'd use them to explore beyond our world, not shut themselves away. Your argument reeks of sour grapes. I'll admit we're off to a slower start. Your empire might have, well, exceeded, uh, succeeded at hurrying its evolution along quicker than proper human history. But I'll also bet your world's never produced anything quite like this before. Oh my god, a smartphone? What is this toy? I think it's a toy. Go ahead and scan it. You love analyzing stuff, right? What could be so impressive about a simple rectangle? Oh my god, is it literally we showed this smartphone to this guy and he's... Oh my god! What the... It's an entire computer and it fits in the palm of your hand. If you shrank down that absurdly large body of yours into components small enough to fit into this casing, you even get close to this thing's performance? But so what? We commend your efforts in packing so much functionality into such a small device. I love this. I love that we just show this, like, hyper inefficient, hyper massive computer. We show it a smartphone, and he's like, what the frick? But its processing power is still barely one millionth of our own. Did I mention there are four billion just like it in proper human history? What? Oh my god, I love this. That's a personal device. Almost every human in proper human history has one, except for Rin. Rin, Rin will never have a smartphone. That's absurd. It's the very height of foolishness. You hand out processing power similar to our authority to the general public? Why do something so outrageous? Without anyone mitigating their desires, it's only a matter of time until they consume every resource on the planet. That's all you think computers are good for. They're using yours all wrong. These things aren't generally used just as computers. Originally, they were just communication devices that were gradually redesigned with computing capability. Communication? You heard me. People share their opinions, pool their thoughts, and work together to achieve a common goal. This is just one more tool to help make that happen. People have always wanted better ways to communicate. They've never stopped looking for ways to reach mutual understanding and prosperity. That's how the people, or the humans of proper human history, live their lives. Then, you are saying every one of the people in your world is a full human unto themselves? Right about one thing. There's no end of quarrels and disagreements. I'm sure we're a long way off from uniting everyone under shared principles and ideas. Maybe we will never. Maybe humans will drive themselves to extinction or suck the planet dry. Even so, we aren't done yet. It's because we're still incomplete that we are always striving to go further than ever before. In our world, people are always moving forward towards something better. You're not just stuck in one dead-end world that thinks it's a utopia. What you claim to strive for is no more than a pipe dream. You have no assurance you will ever truly attain what you see. Yeah, that's right, it's a dream. It'll easily fade away if we're not careful. That's why we all hope for the same thing. That humanity can reach new heights no one has ever seen. People who hold that dream become heroic spirits and answer the summons of those who share that dream. 
That is what servants, the executors of the Counterforce, really are. We're a sort of being that you'd never think to see in your eternal regime. We see. So this better world of yours rests upon nothing more than a roll of a dice, as it were. Reckless, far too reckless. You balance the fate of the world on a tightrope. One misstep could end destroy it all. We could never permit this. Yeah, I bet you wouldn't. That's why we find ourselves in an impasse. One of us has to die so the other one can carry on guiding the Earth. Is that so? Tell us then, how do you propose to kill us with that plain, ordinary dagger? Every one of Epang Palace's defense armaments is already trained on your person. You will not get one step out the door before you are simply disintegrated. You still don't get it, do you? Proper human history is light years ahead of you in terms of communications and data storage and access. And in our world, with all its conflicts, any technology can be used as a weapon. Not that I'm proud of that. For example, did you know it's possible to poison a computer just by communicating with it? Wait. Wait, did we just make a... Did we just... Did we just wavelength... Did we just execute code? Through, like, Bluetooth or something? What? <laughs> yes, you obviously wanted to have a lofty discussion about worldviews and philosophy, but I'm really just here to kill you. Even if I had to goad you into scanning this phone so you ended up downloading the virus in it! Oh my god, that's so good! That's right, it's been a long 2,200 years, but I'm finally gonna finish this. Oh, yo, that was... Okay, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Oh, man. I think this is my favorite one. This is my favorite sort of twist of Lost Belt so far. Well done, well done indeed. Oh, shoot. Oh no, he has a human form. Let's act surprised, because we probably didn't see that in the summoning thing. We commend you, Jing Kei. This time we'll be sure to remember your name. You are the only one to make us fear for our life, not once, but twice. Man, I can't believe this. I promised Tanner I'd make it back safe and everything. <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have quite pushed my luck this far. It's just my destiny to always choke right at the very end. I mean, you got him out of his seat, I guess, which is the important thing. You are wrong there, Jinkei. Your heroic spirit's true worth lies in dying with a smile, even as you fail at what you set it to accomplish. Oh, we're gonna murder this dude so hard. Oh, that was great, though. Oh, that was good. All right, well, I'm going to take a hard bet that uh, the best bet for this will be to get some alter egos out and about, right? Well, let's get Melt. Yeah, let's get Melt. Um, where's our alter ego team we've been using? We got Kill Rider. We got Kill Assassin here. Ah, Kill Caster. Yeah, we don't Kill Caster. So let's go with like this. Um, actually, you know what? Okay, I think the Assassin's gonna be the one that's gonna be the big problem. So we'll go with Kill Assassin here. Let's... Ah, uh, no, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep this team in, in, in bay. Okay, let's, let's go with Kill Caster here. But we're gonna switch these off. And we're gonna switch you to the front. Bring you up to the front. Um, let's go... Let's get you your constant healing again. Because that will be real good on you. We need the girl with the flowers right there. Um, you can get, uh, well, I think Dive to Blue on you is a good one, right? Or One Summer. No, we want Dive to Blue specifically, yeah. That's good. You're there. Now, you guys, actually, we don't want to use. We're actually going to use with you, um, let's see here. Ilya is good to have for sure. Except let's replace that with, um... I think an Ilya with a big nuke is always welcome. And as for you, we can switch you with, um, and you're good too. Yeah, we'll get you there. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Whomstever we are dealing with, of course.
And uh, the giant emperor up there is just gonna bow down and squish us, right? <laughs> now that you mention it, King Shi Wang has been surprisingly silent. I expect you to have heard something by now. Was Jin Kei successful? I certainly hope so. If she had been, then we should have heard back from her by now. It's unfortunate we had no choice but to let her handle the Apeng Palace on her own. So, uh, where should we go about looking for this Fusang tree? You're hanging out with us? I didn't even think about Munier. I'm quite certain you'll find it in the treasury. I recommend stopping by the Ministry of Technology first, especially as it's right on your way. But if you'd rather leave that fancy car of yours behind, be my guest. Ah, the Shadow Border! Oh, well, it's no race car, but we certainly have been through a lot together. I only hope it's still in one piece. I'm not sure. It's very possible we'll find it completely disassembled and its components scattered across the floor. Hey, this concerns you too, Buster. Remember, we need the border if we're going to get out of this Lost Belt. All right, I guess that is kind of important, huh? Oh, hey, no, we're all good. It is still in one piece. Hooray! Foo-foo! Ah, now I see. Kin Shi Huang must be something of a perfectionist when it comes to puzzles. So that's why Kin Shi Huang took it apart and put it all together again perfectly. The Emperor had to be sure of its understanding of its inner workings. I bet King Shi Huang would be great at building models. Now that we've got the border back, we can't lose. Ah, this is great! Feels like coming home again. Yeah, uh, looks like there's a box here marked leftover screws. That does it! King Shi Huang is going down so hard! Oh man, she's breaking out her glasses. She must really mean business. Unfortunately, time's not on her side right now. It's off to a full inspection and overhaul later. Now, let's get out of here. As long as the engine still works, we should be good to go. Huh. Hey, the Chaldeans. This is a surprise. I expected a pack of muscular brutes. I never imagined a brat, a little girl, and a bunch of scrawny weaklings. Oh, if it isn't Han Shin, long time no see. Han Shin, as in one of the Han Dynasty's three greatest heroes? When this lost belt, he ended up serving the Qin Empire. Oh, I don't work for the Emperor anymore. In fact, I was just relieved of duty. There's no reason for us to fight. <laughs> Did you really think I was just going to stand by and watch while you rode off into the sunset? Lord Chen Gan, that smile. Indeed, that's the same look Lord Lu Bu used to have back when we were serving under him. Practically smell the blood on you, you freaking creeper. Aw, man. I just want to wage war. Doesn't matter if there's reason for it. Not to mention, I've got a lot of help here. None of them is ready to, uh, to admit defeat. So come on, warriors of proper human history, let's do this thing. You, us, no restrictions, no holding back, just good old war for war's sake. Ah, there's nothing more exciting than going up against impossibly strong enemies. I can't wait! I was unaware Mount Li had generals like this slumbering there as well. Here, Kin Liang Yu only ever fought to preserve peace. Lady Liang Yu? Oh yeah, sure she was great. I love the whole pure and innocent thing. That shine wasn't going to run off after she was just being revived two or three times. Me, on the other hand, I've been waging wars for the Emperor since that before that mechanical body. I crushed India, Egypt, Rome... I never saw the years of peace between. I always just kept on ice for those. I bet you were. You're a freaking psycho. Nothing you do in peacetime but cause trouble. Everlasting peace is a way of saying there's no more enemies to conquer. So I'm awfully glad you guys showed up. Last time I went back to Mount Lee after I'd crushed the Aztecs, I didn't think I'd ever get to wake up again. Now let me see what sort of messed up killing techniques you guys came with in your disordered world where our empire never existed. So does... Does he actually fight? They actually fight? That'd be weird. I didn't. I wouldn't expect that. Is he like an actual servant? You can get. He looks like an NPC only guy. He looks like it. Watch him actually just be straight up a servant, and I've just never seen him. Nope. Oh, 16 of them. Yeah, he's giving them buffs, huh? What does that do? Increase all allies' noble phantasm. Ooh, okay. Three of the- ooh, boy. Oh, no. That's not good. Well, we can get that going on you. Huh. Okay. This is gonna be weird. I think our best bet is to just work on killing you first. And then hopefully being able to do damage to the other guy. Oh, these guys also have lots of HP, huh? We'll see how this goes. Okay. All right, um... Oh god, you get lots of charge, huh? 
Oh, you know what? He has pretty low HP, so you know what? Let's do as much as we can and then try and... There's 16 enemies, huh? Okay. Alright. Excavation form. Oof. Ow. Okay, we gotta kill him first, for sure. So let's go... Uh, let's go... You know what? Let's go one, two... Because we'll kill him with this, for sure. Right? So then the question is... Just, oh, but he has guts. I didn't even see that. Frick. Oh, never mind. It, it procced. We're good. Okay, well, he's gone. Okay. Growth is going. Excavation form. Seed and I's getting beat up, huh? Um... Pop this on you. Pop an evade on you. Alright, and so let's just attack while we can, honestly. You know what? Let's go. Because I don't want to power up the Noble Phantasm, per se. Just do as much as we can here. Okay. Good. Okay. Nice. Okay. Alright, let's keep let's just keep going here. So we're gonna go. Um Let's just do as much as we can, I guess. Okay, you're done. Now we just gotta worry about this guy, right? Because he's he's he has a super buff on his noble phantasm. Okay. Imperial guards, so yeah. And he has evade on. Do you have remove buffs for a single enemy? Right? Yeah. We could do that with you for sure. Now let's do that. Okay, and let's go one, two, three. Okay. Do as much as we can with this. Hopefully it removes the buffs first. Nope. Well, that's fine. At least we'll still deal the damage, which is the important thing. Yeah, and oh, and it gets rid of his guts too, so it's actually really good. Okay. Okay. No, Seach and I stop. Okay. Um. Hmm. By random effects. Okay, you know what? Let's go. I'm not too worried about him. Definitely want to get rid of these two guys, though. So let's go this. You know what? Let's go. Let's definitely kill those two guys. And then try and. Hmm. Because yours does decrease defense. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, let's do as much as we can with, with um, you two, pretty much. I think that's just our best bet, honestly, is just to then hope for the best, you know? I mean, I guess we could try and get another Protea going. Be useful, or we could try and get you. Hmm. Okay. I think she's our best bet. I did not do nearly as much damage as I expected. Come on, please hit and kill. Oh my god, this is not good. That's gonna hurt. Yep, you're done. Okay. Alright, well. Uh, whew, okay. In that case, let's go... Hmm, you know what? Let's go... Let's get. Let's focus on getting rid of this guy for sure. Let's go one, two, three. So if we get the Noble Phantasm again, at least we can focus on uh, getting rid of that dude's buff. 
Okay. Alright. Oh, there's still so many of them, huh? Oh, and you're getting hurt by the burns a lot. Okay. You know what? Let's pop this on you. Okay, and let's go... It's probably our best bet here. Okay. okay you got that going. And you're done. Yep, yeah, that's what I expected. Ignore Invincible, that's not good. Well, that's not good at all. Oh boy, you guys are... This is a really, really powerful set of foes, huh? I mean, they're not to be trifled with. Okay, so I'm gonna do... You know what? Pop this. Get this going. Right, because then we can go... One... One, two, three. That should kill the other two and then at least break his... Break his evade, right? So we'll try that. Okay. And let's see here. You're done. Okay. Growth's still going. Trembling legs. Ignore invincible attack plus. Alright. Okay, so let's super murder this guy. So we're gonna go one, two, and then three with you to get rid of... Yeah. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. Okay. Good. Oh, he has guts, though. That's fine. We're gonna kill him with this. Yep. Okay, you're done. Trembling legs, ignore invincible, that's not fun. Okay. God, this is such a battle of attrition, huh? It really is. Okay, let's get, um... Hmm. Because you don't, whoop, you don't have anything for, like, removing buffs or anything, right? No. How many do you have left? Still have three left, so it's like it's not even worth it, really. So if we do that, it won't be, it won't do anything. So you know what? Let's let's use this to at least break your guard a bit, and get some meter with mash here, maybe. Okay. 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 Your your things done. Okay. 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 All right, now we have to kill him, like, ASAP. So let's go. Let's go. All right. Probably kill him in one hit, honestly. Okay. You know what? Let's pop this on, just get that meter gain, too. That'll help out. Let's go... Is in your resist, which is not good, but it's the best we can do. So let's go one, two, three. Yep. Kill him. Break and get meter back for maybe another. We'll see. Okay, and then you'll come back with. 10,000, 12,000. It's not a ton of meter gain, but it's enough for now. Okay. All right. Let's pop this on you. Pop this on you. We'll let him use that on you, for sure. You know what? Let's pop a heal, because you should survive some of that. Okay, let's spend our time with this, then. Okay. 
Take him down. Okay, we'll maybe not take him down. Okay, wow, never mind. Okay, that evaded. Ah, you're done. That sucks. Okay, well. Um, let's go. Let's pop this for next turn. Okay, because then if we can stop him, that'd be great. Pop an attack up. So that hopefully we can go this to kill those two, or at least try. Okay, let's try this. Okay, let's see how it goes. How much we get. Okay. Nice. Okay. Now, is this going to stun him, though? That's the question. Okay, let's see here. That it did. Good. We don't have to worry about his phantasm, or rather his super at all. Okay. So let's go. Um... You know what, let's... Oh, do we even have a full combo? We really don't even. Okay. Okay, mm well, I think our best bet is to just try and get as much meter as we can with Protea to use another super. Okay, let's do that. I'm not too worried about damage this turn, so... Oh, we got him. Because, yeah, he must have got hit once there, which I didn't even notice. Okay. Alright, we gotta get rid of him. If I pop this... But I want the growth to continue. Shoot. Okay, well... I invincible and get some stars. Okay, let's try that. Just to survive, because we're getting close here. Right, we're getting real close. So, let's go... If I use this, right? No. Well, let's do some of this. Okay. Let's go one, two, three. Hopefully we kill in the first two and then we'll see. Ah, nope. This is going to hurt. Oh, wait. Well, let's see. Crit. Nope. Okay. You're going to hurt someone real bad. Please go for her. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, we survived that. Good, good, good. Okay, good. Uh, let's go one, two, three. Okay. We only have five left. Big meter. Thank you. Okay, these guys are going to suck, though, because they're getting their, getting their stuff up. Thank you for just doing nothing, though. Okay. okay now we're going to pop this for sure. Pop this back on. Okay, and let's go... Hmm, should we try and kill one? I think we should try and kill this guy for sure. Yeah. We got nothing else we can really put on, so we just gotta get real... Get real lucky. Okay. Alright, 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 let's see. Oh, without that, without that growth, without that growth there, it really doesn't do a ton, huh? Well, we should still get him here. Or not. Or not. Okay, that wasn't too bad. That was. Okay. Attack up. This is gonna come, this is gonna really come down to it, huh? So let's go one, two, three for meter. Let's get three for meter. Okay, let's do that. Okay. All right. Okay. 
Don't hit her. Stop that. Okay, last guard. You do significant damage. That doesn't actually say it's going to kill, though. Um, shoot. Okay, well, let's go... Hmm, how many do you have left? Two evades? Okay, so let's go... Let's go one, two. Yeah, let's go one, two, attack to kill him, hopefully, and we'll see here, right? You're going to die anyways, so you know what? We'll even go like this to get even more. Okay, let's see here. Get some stars for Prote, I guess. Okay, now we can attack. Oh, it's not doing nearly enough to kill him. Wow, that did nothing. Wow, okay. Oh, you got guts going. Oh, necromancy. Oh, it's working. Just barely, though. Okay, oh my god, did you- You- Oh, he got rid of the growth. Oh no. Okay, well. Let's do this, this, this. Oh man, this ain't good. Kill. Okay, revive. 90%, let's get that big crit. Okay, you're done. Okay, now you're done. Oh god, this is gonna come real close, huh? Oh god, this is gonna be real close. Mm. Okay, let's kill this guy, but then that'll buff his thing. Shoot. Shoot! Oh man, this sucks. We'll see here. If she can tank through it a bit, that's all we need. We just need her to tank like one hit and she should be good. Okay, let's see here. Ah! Nope. Really? Oh, I just don't want to deal with doing this again. This sucked. This battle sucked. Frick, man, I don't care. I want to get a camo, okay? Look, I tried at the other battles. I only have so much time. I want to get to Kama. I want to freaking destroy this dude. How much does he have left? You know, it doesn't matter because we're going to go like this. We're going to go one, two, three. Okay. I don't even care, man. That was just annoying. Just save my time. That battle sucks. This guy's gonna get murdered super mega hard. Oh, did he not- did he not die from that? Good. Wow, that battle sucked! 24 turns? It just lasted forever. Oh, that was so annoying. Okay. Assassin, huh? Okay, I, know, I think I know who it is this time. So, a plan. Roughly the same as the other assassins. Give me... Give me a good, strong Merloin. I said strong Merloin. Nope. Okay, give me the strong Merloin. Come on. Where are you? Level two. Level two's not bad, but I want that I want that broken one. Because once I've had a taste of the goodness, it's never gonna go away. Like, I need that just destructively good. I wish I could, I really wish I could organize by, like, um, 
you know, do the same filter I can on other stuff, because that stuff is so broken when it's like, oh yeah, only give me these types of care of servants. It's so good. And I don't see a button for that, so... Come on. If I have to settle, I'll settle. You know what, a level 2 with star is fine, okay. Uh, kill caster, so then, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna go with our kill assassin. We're gonna stick with this sort of plan. Except instead of this... Don't we have one that provides a high amount? Because you, because you're gonna get, you're gonna be like a battery. You know what, we'll give you this, actually. Because you can get your meter real fast with that. And we just need to survive for like one turn. So that'll be a buff there. You got yours. Okay. Okay. Let's give that a shot. Set it right. Yes, yes, yes. This is awesome. I love fights to the death. Nothing better than war. All right. That's... I shouldn't have claimed this character as me. I can't believe it. Those are the same soldiers we fought before. How could they be so much stronger from a change in commander? I hear you've been a long time since I was up against a general who could make your blood run cold. That he did. Monsters such as he are not unheard of in times of war. That said, I think this man's strategical sensibilities may even outpace Su Liang's. I'm glad to see you're enjoying yourself, Han Sin. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, hello there, Captain. Are you sure a hard-ass like you wants to get mixed up in a wild brawl like this? The Emperor asked me to keep an eye on you until all of this was over. Ah, well, we don't really deserve such a wonderful Emperor. I can hardly believe the Emperor would care so much for a piece of trash like me. You said it. The Emperor even told me I was free to fight all I wished as a reward for my years of faithful service. I see not even old age can slow you down. Well then, let's get to it, shall we? At this point, I can't think of any better way to demonstrate our loyalty to the Emperor than by going down fighting. Heavenly Emperor has been kind enough to keep broken men like ourselves in check by allowing us to serve. Now we beasts who can never find the solace in peace can finally repay that kindness. That old man is an ordinary human. Does he truly mean to go up against servants with his bare hands? Oh, you better believe it. Trust me. Don't you take your eyes off him for a second. Even if he did catch even if he did catch me off guard, he still managed to stun my spear core with one blow. That general isn't the only distinguished warrior here. That old guy's as tough as they come too. You better not hold back against him. That I will not. Because I have, again, strategies. And we'll see how they go. See how it works out. Alright, let's see. Hopefully Han Shin isn't giving him like, you know. Stupid buffs like that other guy, because if so, then there goes my strategy, but we'll see. Captain of the Guard, 200,000, okay. Fight like there's no tomorrow. Increase attack. Increase f oh, f no, that's not good. So then in that case, we really don't want to be using, um... In that case, we really don't want to be using our stuff right off the bat. We want to use it to kind of... Uh, get his gauge down. So we'll try that for sure. And we'll see what he can do. Like his old man noise. Ow. Chain get Oh, frick off. I hate that. How many turns is it for? For three turns! That sucks. Well, let's get going with um, as much as we can here. You know what? Let's go. Let's just do some of this here. Well, at least we're still getting good hits in, you know? Okay. Section of Yin Yang debuff immune. That's not great. But oh my god! Okay. What does confusion do? Chance to skill seal e oh this sucks. Okay, well, let's let's pop his uh well it's not gonna do as much now. Let's 
use them while we can. Wow, this is the worst, huh? Let's buff you up. Can't use those still. Might as well use this while we can, too. Okay, let's go... Do as much as we can. Oh my god, this is gonna suck. Okay. This should... Should almost kill him, I think. We'll see here. I think I think that did break his gauge. It did, good. So we don't have to worry... Oh, wow, that damage. So we shouldn't have to worry about... Um, his attack being up high again. Violent Fist, Critical Up, Critical Rate, Baji Kwan, Ignore Invincible. Shut up, I don't care. Okay. Goodbye, Ilya. Bleed from all orifices. I don't like that. It's a good thing we had Guts on. Holy crap. What the frick? Ah! Do you still have your... Your... Hey, he doesn't have that anymore, at least. Oh my god. Okay, well, let's go... Should we get try and get supers? If Ilya survives... Which I doubt she will. But we'll see. Um, then we can get something there. So let's... You know what? Let's not even try. Let's, let's focus on Cease and I for now. So that next turn when he gets back his status type there. Confusion, okay. Ignore Invincible. Well, there you go. Good thing I didn't. Okay. Hi, Mash. Well, at least we can get target focus on you, huh? Okay. Um, let's go... Try and get as much as we can this turn. So that hopefully we can get healing going and slash or defense up, which won't even matter because whatever, he's gonna murder us anyways. Okay, that'll be defense down, crit rate down. That should be nice, hopefully. Okay. Skill seal. Ow. Okay, alright, so you're gonna pop on... What does that do? Increase art card effectiveness? Okay, well we're gonna pop this on you. Even though you're gonna pop on Ignore Invincible anyways. Uh, let's do this. And we're gonna go one, two, three. Try your best here. Literally, Mash is a, is a physical, like... You know, she's a meat shield. Yep. Ignore Invincible. So she's dead. She's murdered. Yeah. Yep. That's rough. But Guts, good. Okay. Okay. Get the commander, huh? Well, yeah, that, 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 that's who you're aiming for, huh? Okay, and let's go, okay, let's do that, okay, she's gonna die, there's no way she won't, so for now, let's go, yeah, all your skills are in use there, so let's go one, two, three, do as much as you can, you'll get enough for a healing going, but it'll be close. Oh, cool. Like, you actually put it down to almost zero. Also, evade too, huh? Okay. Wow. This is the worst. This is actually not fun. Um, okay, so we can get going with... How many evades is this? Is it one turn, or is it a certain number? 
one turns of them. So, okay, we're gonna go one, two, let's go, let's go two, three, okay? Oh, this is not going great. I mean, when he can murder you in, like, one good hit, does it really matter a ton? You know? Okay, and you're done. Hearts up. Okay. Attack. Oh, some somebody's gonna die, if not both of them. Okay. Um. Let's go... I mean, frick, it doesn't even matter. We're gonna we're gonna break his gauge, but somebody's gonna die here. So let's just do this to get both of them meter. Okay. All right. Unrivaled attack up death chance. Oh, fun! Just everything. He just puts on everything, huh? Oh, goodbye. Sayonara. All oh, that damage. Good. Uh, in the words of me right now, ah. Well, we can remove your buffs with this. Well, does that remove buffs? No, it doesn't. I'm super wrong. Just we just gotta do as much as we can, huh? Okay. No effects whatsoever. We came close. Unless he somehow doesn't kill us this turn. There's no way. There's no way. I came close and that was a short battle. Okay, shorter. So let me... Let me play around here and try and figure this out. Because unlike that last battle, which was, you know, there's at least a strategy I can think of with this that isn't just stalling it out, you know? So let me let me take a look here. I'm going to play around. Survive one turn. Survive one turn. No frick, really? Oh my god, I'm gonna lose this by one turn. Wait, because it is for one turn. No! This sucks. I'm gonna lose it by one turn again. Because I have nothing that can break. Oh man, this sucks. I'm so close. Cool. Wow. Frick off. I hate the RNG of this. This sucks. Frick off. Frick. Okay, if we crit, we probably have this. Let's see. Come on, crit. Come on, crit. Oh my god. No! So close. Oh, that's just mean.
あまり使いたくはないのですけどね、はい、そう
らよしよし指導は偉いねうんそういいよ我が劇場の旅になるかこれはどう撃てー止めてあげるうんやっちゃうね慌てない慌てないOh my god. Hold up. I think this might be it. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, okay. I think we got this. Okay, let's see here. Oh my god, I think we got this. Oh my god. If this is- if this does it, and we just barely won. Oh my god. Through RNG, I did it. Level 90 Medea. The, okay, so I had my own Medea, who I leveled up her stuff. She was getting rid of the stuff. Oh. This was so hard. This was the toughest battle I've done. Because I said I'm not going to use any quartz. And you know what? It took forever. But I did. In fact, I even stopped recording because I'm like, I'm not going to do it. And then at the end, I'm like, okay, I'm going to restart my recording just in case. And it did work. I'll have bits and pieces of the battle to show, but I won't have the whole thing. Because I stopped. I, I started halfway. And I'm like, oh, this could do it. And then I stopped. I'm like, ah, oh, this isn't going to do it. Anyways, I did it. Oh, my God. How in the world did he get this strong? He's a human. We've neutralized the enemy fighters, although... Oh, it's all right. I don't know if they even have the strength to even stand anymore. I'm going to use Quartz for the last couple bosses, because that was the worst. And I, who knew there were even so many monsters in China? I can't believe these guys put in so much of a fight without nothing but strategy and pure skill. Let's hurry on. I have a feeling the Fusang tree is practically around the corner. Wow, was that it? We're just, we're just walking away from that? Shin, are you still breathing? Unfortunately, I never expected them to just leave without finishing us off. <laughs> Don't they know that goes against the rules of war? Still, that was a good fight. It was tough! This building won't last much longer. If you can still stand, you should leave now before it collapses. As it happens, that battle really took every last bit of energy out of me. I was hoping I might just be able to sit here a bit longer. I suppose we'll just have to wait then. You misjudged how much stamina you had halfway through the fight, didn't you? Did you think you could keep up the same pace when you were young or something? To my shame, yes. I hate to admit that I began feeling my age at a mere 150 years old. Despite the Emperor giving me personal instruction in the Sage Arts- Oh, you are a Sage! Okay. You should have come to Mount Lee when you had the chance instead of insisting on staying on active duty. Man, I wish I could have seen you fight in your prime. I bet it was something to behold. Well, I suppose there was a time when I went around threatening my enemies with my martial arts. My, how time truly does fly. These days I spent alongside Heavenly Emperor more than I ever asked for. Are they even going to say his name? You guys have all the luck. He looks so peaceful, you think he was just sleeping and not dead. From me barely beating that. Holy crap. The Chaldeans will soon reach the Fusang Tree in the Treasury. It will mean the Emperor's most valuable mystic. The cornerstone of our peaceful civilization will fall into enemy hands. No, right now the Fusang tree is more important than that. Isn't it to you? Oh, is the, is the tree the tree? The battle will determine the fate of the world, yet you still wish to avoid it. I do. I understand very well how foolish that request is. But I cannot bear to see you wield your swords any longer. Indeed, that is the only thing I desire. Oh, we're gonna have to fight them together probably aren't we 
And for that choice should lead to obliteration. But the world is in peril even as we speak. The Empire faces an unprecedented threat to its peace. My programming would not permit me to simply stand by while this happens. Forgive me, you. I cannot change who I am. Yes, you're right. This is who you are. In that case, I'll accompany you. Please, let me stay by your side until the very end. That was three hours of me butting my head against that. Three hours. Three hours. Oh, boy. Not easy. Not an easy fight. Alright, well, all we have left for us is the end of this Lost Belt, then. I'm sure the last couple fights are gonna be nice and easy, right? <laughs> I literally see it's them. Okay, we'll see you guys next time for the end of Sin. Ciao.